Last week, we told you about Alexandria Alaba, the former Horry County daycare worker accused of hitting and kicking children under her care. A parent whose child was in the room with Alaba during the alleged incident showed me security camera footage she says she got from an employee at the daycare. While we haven't been able to legally obtain rights to the video, she describes the horror that unfolds in those 10 minutes and the heartbreak she's felt every moment since. I want to do the same thing to her. How dare she touch my child in any way other than a loving manner? What did I do leaving my kids in a place that anything like this could happen? This Horry County mother, who's asked to remain anonymous, has security camera footage from inside My Sunshine Child Development Center in Soxty on Wednesday, February 14th. I asked her to share what she saw in that video. The kids were a room full of sleeping toddlers, three-year-olds who were all sleeping. It was their nap time. Um, I guess it was time for them to wake up. You see a, an adult, I won't even call her a teacher because there's, there's nothing about that that's educational or instructional, um, standing in the classroom screaming that they need to wake up. Then she says you see Alexandra Oliva, who's been charged with nine counts of unlawfully placing a child at risk or causing harm, get physical with multiple children. Grabbing them by their ankles and dragging them, grabbing them by their hands and dragging them, rolling them off of their nap mats so they crash onto the floor, um, kicking them with her feet to get them to wake up. Two moments in particular during the roughly 10 minute long video stand out to the mother. Both are mentioned in Alibal's arrest warrants. One is a child being kicked into a shelf. There was one child that was sound asleep, hadn't moved at all with the noise and the yelling, and the woman took her foot and kicked that child to the point where the child rolled over and crashed into a shelving system. The other is when a child is lifted off the ground and shoved into a corner. There was another child that was still tired after she was awakened with her legs being pulled. She curled up on another nap mat um, and the woman then picked her up, dragged her by her arms and crashed her into a wall. She dragged her probably a good six feet and then pushed her up against a wall and screamed at her, I told you so many times to wake up. This parent says she got the video from a school employee two days after it happened. We were crying and devastated immediately afterwards because again, you know, we don't want anything to ever happen to our kids and to know that, you know, we put her there. We put her there and, you know, how could this happen? And she hasn't been able to feel okay or look away since seeing it. Uh, too many to count and every time I still get, you know, upset and you know, nervous that this is ever going to happen to my child again, and I don't want her to go anywhere else. We have requested the security video from the South Carolina Department of Social Services and Horry County Police. We've also learned that Alaba was fired from another daycare and was previously investigated by DSS. She worked at Creative Beginnings Child Development Center in 2021 and 2022. According to that center CEO, she was informed that there was an anonymous complaint filed against Alaba in 2022. After interviewing parents and staff members, the results of the agency's investigation were unfounded. The Creative Beginning CEO decided to fire her after a second complaint later that year. The results of that investigation were also unfounded. Alaba remains in jail after being denied bond.